All right, let's look at our AD ductors. Let's start here because they all have um, several things in common. First of all, what's their major action? All of them have a major, major action of AD ducting. AD ducting what? The thigh. If they're AD ducting the thigh, where are they going to attach? They have to have one attachment on the pelvis and then they have to have another attachment on the femur. So we'll look at where those attachments are. They also all medially rotate the thigh. So this is an action that all of them share. Gracilis has an additional action, and I'm going to tell you what the action is, and then you're going to tell me what that means for where it's attached. The additional action of gracilis is that it also flexes the leg. What? It flexes the leg. So what does that tell you about where gracilis is going to attach? One of its attachments has to be on a leg bone. It has to cross because gracilis, in order to flex the leg, has to cross the knee joint. So it actually has an attachment on the medial edge of the tibia. Near the tibial tuberosity, not quite all the way there. I wish that it just was tibial tuberosity. Everybody else, the distal attachment is the femur. And I'll show you a picture in a second on our website. I'll show you the image of how the adductors are kind of organized. Pectineus is the most proximal on the femur for this group of muscles. And so, um, and there's a whole, there's like four, I think, adductors that have their own special names, but we won't learn all their names. If they're moving, if they're moving at the thigh, they have to cross the hip joint, which means they also have to attach to the pelvis, and all of them do. They all attach to some part of the pubis. And pubis is good enough for me. Let's go take a look at these guys. Here they are. Now look. This one, the most proximal, proximal p -p pectineus. That's nice. And we, um, it's an adductor, so it makes sense that it's going to be attached more medially to the pubis and then laterally to the proximal end of the uh, femur. Can you visualize where you would have to attach to the femur in order to also get medial rotation? Can you visualize that you're going to need to be a little bit more on the anterior side of the femur to contract that muscle and have medial rotation take place? These are all my other holy adductor madness land. Awesome. This, this is the amazing gracilis. Gracilis is a long, straight muscle. It goes from the pubis all the way down and attaches to the medial side of the tibia. And you can see that, sure, that's totally going to give you a deduction just like the others, but it's also, since it crosses this joint, it's also going to give you some flexion of the leg. That was an easy group. Our next group is easy, too, because we're going to look at the butt muscles. Be right back for that fun.